Hi, this is a quick video showing you how to use Grammarly inside Elementor. Um, Grammarly is a spelling and grammar checker which we can access online through the Grammarly website. So if we just quickly search for that, we can look on grammarly.com. And when that loads up, you can see we've got the Grammarly web page here and we can add a free version to Chrome, which adds it as an extension. So we just need to click on that button and it adds the extension here. Um, I've already got it installed, so I'll just quickly show you a page where that's installed. Um, once it's running, you'll find it up here in the top right corner. You can click here and you see there's Grammarly installed for Chrome. Now, when you sign up for Grammarly, you'll also have a um, account that you can look at which gives you the ability to also download a version which you can install on your desktop. So either of those options should allow you to use Grammarly on your web pages. Now with Elementor, switching over to an example page that we've got running, um, by default on your pages you won't really see anything happening with Grammarly and even over here in the text editor there's nothing happening. We can see a few spelling mistakes showing up, but that's just the inbuilt editor that's in the text editor, which isn't bad, but Grammarly offers a little bit um, more control for us. So we'll go down here to a bit of text that I've prepared, so we, with some deliberate spelling errors in there. And we do use the text editor. We click in the text editor, and then we click on the full screen button this loads a text only version of that uh, section of text that we're editing and you can see that on bottom right here it's loading up Grammarly and it's checking the text for any mistakes that uh, are present. So as we hover over our text where we've got mistakes we can see it offers some suggestions. So we just need to click on any suggestions that it comes up with. So there's one there. And finally, fix. Okay, so that's done. So where we saw the solid uh, solid underline, that was for the Grammarly errors. Anything else we see here is actually the inbuilt text editor trying to fix up some spelling mistakes. And it's actually not doing a very good job because it's picking up things that obviously aren't um, spelling mistakes. So anyway, once you've edited your text, um, you can go out of full screen and then you just need to update your page and you'll see over here our text has been updated with the correct spelling. So you can do that on any section of text in your website. Okay.